So guys, Zarek gonna show you how to make a whole bunch of SFZ files based off of any number of wave files. I've this worked for like I, don't know, I tried two thousand at a time once and it worked. Couldn't find anything on Mac OS ten in terms of how to do it. Um, but I mean with a app, so I just went online and looked up a bunch of terminal code and pieced a bunch of stuff together. So um, one disclaimer is make sure you know you're doing a terminal because you can mess your computer up with terminal and I can't uh, uh, be held responsible, take any responsibility for any kind of bad things you do to your computer. You, you should know, you know, basic things like this of like where things are going on. This is saying where the things are going. Like what folders these things are happening you need to have a basic understanding of that so you don't go in there with guns blazing and writing code to the or you know executing whatever i and i'm not i'm not you know i just executing commands or whatever in terminal and like messing stuff up like just kind of understand what you're doing it's really it's pretty basic stuff but you can mess stuff up so here's what we're going at we got your computer you got uh your boot drive and then you got your users folder and then your uh, username and then the documents folder inside the documents folder make a folder called wave and make a folder called sfz you need to do it in the documents folder because the code that i have is based on the fact that you've made these two folders if you want to put it somewhere else then you really really should understand what you're doing um, and how you need to change this code in order to make it work because this is all based on the fact that you got this wave folder and this ssz folder that you created inside of documents uh you know you just go to a new folder and then name it so these are those two folders right here we got wave we got sfz uh okay uh one more disclaimer before we get started is uh we're going to take wave files and we're going to make sfz files for them and do make backups so like this is on a different hard drive so when i take these files and I put them into here, it's not getting rid of these files. These are still here on a hard drive. It's copying them here. So these files down here that are highlighted, they're never gonna be touched by anything. They're just sitting in a folder and I moved it to another hard drive here. If you don't if you don't have another hard drive, just copy them. Just back them up. Make sure you got a backup. Make, just make sure you got a backup so you don't mess anything up. So those are the two disclaimers. Know what you're doing in terminal and back your wave files up before doing anything. Uh, in terminal because you're basically what you're doing is you're copying these again putting them in a folder and then destroying those files but just you're making copies go just make sure you got your backup down here because things could go wrong with this if you do the wrong thing you could erase these accidentally if you're messing around so it doesn't matter because you still got them backed up here so uh, let's just show this in action real quick this is the all-in-one code so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna put it into here and I'm gonna run it in terminal and these basically were moved over here and then changed the SFZ files and then or copied over here, changed the SFZ files and then they were moved over here. So um, let's see how many files this is is ten files. So then we got ten of those and then we got all the original wave files. So that's twenty files. Okay. So there you go. Now let's take a look at one of these SFZ files and how it works. Uh, there we go. Okay, so you got, um, this is an SFZ file. It's got region and sample equals, and then you got the name of the WAV file it corresponds to, and then you got this space here, and then you got the rest of the code, and all this stuff is like low key. This is like MIDI information. Uh, key center is 60. So you can write this, that's all down here in the, in the code down here, or it's this line here in the code. Uh, that's where you would set all the stuff that is, you know, I mean, obviously if you're here, you know, an SFZ file is, so this is where you set what the meaning of it, like, you know, the key center and the key tracking amount and not, uh, low velocity and high velocity, all that stuff. Uh, and then just real quick, I'll take you through how the code works. So what you do from here, the way, the reason I had it all come into this folder, like, you know, like this is the in folder and this is the out folder basically. Uh, and then you could go into, I use these in synth master and you'd go to like waveforms and, you know, make a folder of, uh, of these and then you'd move them into here. And that's, that, you know, it's different for each SFZ sample player, but synth master plays SFV files and this is their stuff. 
happens to also be here in the documents and it's got its own folder and it's got the waveform folders. That's where I put those. And then I'll just show you real quick with just like a file here to show you how this works. Okay, the first one, and I'm not gonna go through all the code. You should just, if you really wanna know how it all works, this is basically removing the spaces and the special characters. Cause you know, I could go into this forever. And, and really, I don't really know how, all, some of this code, I don't know how, I just looked at all this stuff up on the internet and just kinda like, random just strung all this stuff together like this was from a bunch of different websites with different code and i just did tried stuff out and figured out what worked and this all worked in the end this came later remove spaces and special characters is the first thing that i did this is removing the first half is removing the spaces second half is removing the special characters um that's kind of going on here in this area like this is this is saying s and g i don't know what that means but this here's space and here's no space Here's uh, special characters and no special characters. Um, so that's what's going on there. So if you look at the wave folder, when I copy and I paste this, I uh, got rid of the, it said clap space and space snare. Now it just says clap snare. Next thing you want to do is you want to copy that wave file from wave into SFZ. So we're going to do that. So I just took this wave file and copied it over to the SFZ folder. Now we're going to mess with the stuff in the SFZ folder. So we're gonna change the extent dot wave to dot txt, copy that. And so this wave is gonna become a txt. You paste it in here and run it. Okay, so now it's a txt. If you look at it, it's got all this info. This is like a wave, this is all like wave file info, but it's in txt form. And you don't want that. You want to basically get rid of all that and then put the name of the file into the txt, which is the next line. So um, this CD thing, CD change is saying this is hey, this is happening in the SFC folder. Once you once we establish that, now find you know, and here's all the code. And I put this little hey here. This could be anything. This could be any word or one letter or whatever. I put it, and I'll show you why I put it in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're putting the code in. Run it now. When you open this up, all that stuff's gone. It says hey, and then it's got the file name. Okay. So now we want to, if we look at these SFZ files, um, we want this to be here, and then we want, now we've already, we've already got this, we've already got the file name in there, but we want the region samples, and we want a space, and then we want this in there. So that's what the next part of the code does. Uh, oh, one more thing that we want to do is, if you notice, this says dot .wave. Um, right now as we have it, it's got a file name, it's got txt, so we want to change that to wave. So those are the three things that we want to do in this next piece of code. And that's what this, basically this one, this Perl peewee, blah, 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 whatever. And then it says, this is the change stuff here, right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the txt to wave. Now I was thinking ahead and I put a space here and, and yo. So where it says dot, you know, wait, file name dot, and then it says txt, it says, well, hey, that txt, change that txt to wave space yo and so it does that once that's done it uh then i say hey wherever it says hey remember how i put that word hey in there before the file name i say get rid of that and put in region and sample equals okay and it says okay once that's done then we'll go back to that space yo we want that space to stay there there's a space and there's a yo but now we want to say oh where it says yo get rid of that yo and put the rest of this information in there and then I had that space in there so that when you look at the finished product, it's got a space in there before low key. So I guess I didn't run that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna run it. Copy this stuff, put it in the ear. We open this up and we basically got an SFZ file except for one thing, which is uh, it's dot txt. So like we did before where we changed from uh, wave to txt, now we're gonna change from txt to uh, sfz with this code right here. It's basically the similar thing, just changing the extensions. We'll run it. Now you got our sfz. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this original, no, this copied wave file, because remember the original's back here and never gets touched. It's down here, it doesn't ever get touched, nothing ever happens. It, we're gonna take the, the first copy of it and we're gonna move it over using this command just automatically. Put that in here and there you go. Now these are coming together as a package pair and you put them wherever they need to be.
Um, I think that's probably about it. I hope that helps you guys out. Okay.